Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I wanted to do a video and share something with you guys that I started using recently that I think is really useful and helpful if you're creating a website or a web application. Um, it's called the Broadcast Channel API, and if we look at what it says right here, this gives a, a really great basic understanding of what it does. Um, basically, the Broadcast Channel API is a communication uh, protocol that allows you to send and receive data, um, events, or messages between windows, tabs, frames, or iframes um, for workers that are on the same origin. So what that means is um, if you're on a website uh, and you have two tabs open, so I have a little sample app right here that we're going to build together. It's um, a chat app. And basically, if we have two uh, tabs open, right, we can send messages to each other. So I'll say, I'm sending you a message. This is just a simple little form. Uh, it's styled, you know, kind of after like uh, the iMessage. So we have, I'm sending you a message. And in the other tab, you can say that they received the message. And it's just color coded um, gray for all the messages you receive and blue for the ones that you send. Um, so that's kind of what I want to do today um, and just kind of show you guys how you can get uh, up and started with this API really, really easily and really quickly. Um, it's really flexible and really lightweight. It's, it's super easy to use um, and it helps solve some uh, problems in web development that you might see if uh, you know, you're at work or just trying to create an app of your own um, that has to manage data in between different instances of um, a session or something that a user is using. So to kind of illustrate the problem that this solves, um, we can go to Amazon and I'm going to show you um, what happens with this cart when you have two tabs open. So let's just add a, an item. Let's just do flashlight. And I'm just going to add this to my cart. Um, and you're going to see that in the top right corner, um, it updates on the tab where um, we're making the action, right? But it doesn't, oh my god, was that my address? Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> First thing I was like, holy crap. Um, okay, so it added it to my cart, right? Um, and you can see that we have two items. Now if we look um, in the other tab that I'm also logged into on Amazon, you can see that um, the cart did not update. Um, after we added it to it. Um, it didn't receive that user action event or message and it hasn't um, updated the data that we have um, on the website. But if I click refresh, you're gonna see that the number updates. Okay, so um, that's kind of the problem that this aims to solve. Um, and instead of having to refresh our web application or the messaging app we're gonna create, we wanna do it um, all in real time without having to refresh or click a button or something. So. Um, just to reiterate, we have these two tabs, right? Um, I'm going to send a message, blue, because I sent it. And then in the other tab, they received it without having to refresh or anything like that. Um, okay, so that's uh, what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how you can um, use this API, what it's all about, um, and also how you can kind of bend it to whatever use case you want for it, because there's uh, two particular use cases that you might have. Okay, so to get started, um, why don't we just clone my repository? Um, I have this Webpack starter. We're going to build this in React um, just to make things a little easier on us. This is basically the Create React app. I just created it myself. It's really lightweight. Um, so let's do uh, git clone uh, the starter. Okay, so I'll just post that in the um, description for you guys. And then we are going to... Do code done. Just open. I think that should be good for everyone. Um, so what's inside of here? It's just Babel, Webpack, um, Nodemon to run our server, um, and then we have client for React, and then there's uh, some other garbage inside of it. If you guys are curious and want to kind of poke around, um, but this is just to uh, use as kind of like a skeleton and uh, make it so we don't have to start you know completely from scratch. So what we're gonna do first, um, we have the app and the home page, right? So we're just gonna open up the home page. I'm under that client directory and we're going to create um, just a quick folder for the containers and we're just going to create an example container so I can show you guys um, all of the different methods that you use with this API and uh, you know what you can do with it. Um, it's really simple. It's only going to be like 19 lines of code. Okay, so we're just going to get started. You can obviously do this in uh, vanilla JavaScript if you want. Um, I'm just doing it in React because I'm more comfortable with that. So the first thing, to create your broadcast channel, we have to use the constructor. So we're going to uh, do new broadcast channel. And we're going to have to give it a name. That's um, the only parameter that this takes. 
or the only argument that this takes um, as a string. So we're going to just do tester, and then I'm going to create a uh, functional component right here. It's not going to take any props. Um, and the reason I imported use effect is because the next step that we have to do is create a event listener for our broadcast channel. So this is what is going to um, receive the messages that are posted from other tabs um, when we do that. So right here we're going to do on message. That's the event listener method. And it takes an event as um, the argument that it receives or the parameter that it receives. And for now we're just going to um, console.log. Um, the event and that's it. So what I'm going to put here is I receive messages from tabs except the sender tab. Just to kind of um, walk you through and uh, tell you how this works. So this is really this is really key. So when you are excuse me. So when you are sending a message um, with the broadcast channel um, variable that we have, the tab that sends the message or posts the message is not going to invoke this event listener. Um, the event listener is only going to be invoked from the other tabs that are not sending the message. So that is, that's really key that um, you make sure you remember that. Um, because the idea is that we just want to um, transmit all of the actions or changes in data to the other instances that aren't aware of the, um, you know, like, um, item that we added to the cart in um, the original tab or the tab that is currently um, producing all the changes in data. Okay, so the next method is post message and this is where you can send all of your data actually. So you can make it a string, um, an object, an integer, uh, array, whatever you want it to be. Um, so it's really flexible and really nice that way that you can just send any type. And then right here we're just going to say open two tabs, refresh one, then check the console. And these are kind of just some instructions in case you guys need to um, understand how we're going to actually uh, use this example. So right here, I'm going to open this up and this do npm run dev. That's the command to do the uh, server command. And I actually have another instance running. Um, I have IntelliJ up right now, so that's why it's giving me that error. So we're just gonna do it again. For you, it should just work um, completely fine. Oh, you know what we have to do? We need to do um, npm install, sorry. So let's do that. Just wait for it to, to finish up. I'm going a little too fast, kinda, kinda losing it, going out of sequence. Um, but basically, we're just going to see when we open this up that um, a message is sent to another tab. Okay, so now that the uh, dependencies are done being installed, let's do npm run dev. Okay, now we got our start server started up. And I'm gonna go here, oh. Okay, and you can see that nothing's here. Uh, we forgot to import the example container. Let's just do that. Okay, and then we'll save. Okay, cool. So we have one tab open, right? So this is going to be our receiver tab because that gets sent first. And then we're going to open up the console on this one. We're going to refresh it. Okay, so the idea was to open two tabs, right? Um, and then refresh one and then check the console. So we opened up one right here. This is going to be the sender tab, um, this one right here. And when we click on this other tab, you're gonna see that it received a message. Um, so right here, this is the message that we sent because if you look back at the code, um, we had when it mounts, post a message. So basically we have two of the tabs up and whenever I refresh this, the component gets remounted to the screen. It runs that post message um, uh, function and then the receiver tab receives the message. Um, and notice how this is not receiving the message, right? It's not triggering the um, on message handler. And that's because, like I said earlier, the tab that um, is not sending the message is the only tab or the only tabs that are going to get the message. Um, the sender tab is not going to get the message. Um, okay, so right here, you can just see that we have some information and your data is gonna be inside this data property. So if you don't really care about this other junk that's inside of the object, 
you can just destructure out the data right here. So on the on message, we can just do data and then put the data right there and that will print just the data. Okay, so now that we have um, an example up and we know exactly how this is all working, um, let's look at the second use case. So say you want the sender tab to also receive the message. Um, how would we do that exactly? Um, and the only thing you have to do that makes it uh, really easy and really straightforward is you just create another channel with the same name. And then we're going to create another um, listener. So we're going to do all that on message. It's going to be data. And we're going to do console.log. I receive messages from all tabs, just so you guys uh, have an idea of how that works. OK, so why don't we save this? And let's go on over and let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So it did receive the message. Did I destructure? I don't see the message. Oh, OK, yeah, it's right here. Um, so it might be better just to put this as E for now, just so it's a little more clear. OK, so we're going to refresh. And now you can see that the sender tab also received the message. And the way that that works, the reason that it's also getting the message is because we essentially have two broadcast channels and we have one that is a receiver channel. And then we have one that's a sender. Now all you have to do is make sure that you could even comment this out if you want, because uh, maybe you don't want to get duplicate messages. Um, you can just have the sender. Um, so we can just change this to post the message and the receiver to always receive the message. As long as they're different um, instances of the broadcast channel, you'll consume and um, trigger that event listener. OK, so perfect. So we have that. Um, and right now I'm going to walk you through the form um, as well as the little like message container so that you guys can figure out so I can show you guys how you can create a little messaging app out of this. It's um, also really simple and going to be really easy for us to do. So why don't I get my code out? OK, so we're going to just comment or just take that out for now. That's fine. And we're going to create a file for the form container. And this is just going to be um, a little form for us to actually create the message in. So uh, this isn't going to be anything too fancy. So right here, we're going to do import react. We're going to do uh, form container. And then we're going to have some properties. So sent, sent. This is just going to be a function that we call. And then we're also going to have the channel. And we're going to pass that in. So it's going to be the broadcast channel. We're going to do const input set input equals use state. Now this is just going to be for the input. So um, the little input tag. And then we're going to do const on input change. So this is just going to be to update our state whenever um, the user types into the box. So e.target.value. Um, and then we're going to do const on click. Now this is just going to be for the button whenever um, they click submit or send a message. So we're going to do date. We're going to send them a new date um, whenever the message was sent. Uh, we're going to do message and just bind that to the input, the value of the input, and then we're going to do type sent so that uh, whoever's looking at this knows that it was sent. Okay, what did I mess up here? Okay, const data equals, there we go. All right, now we're just going to use the channel that we pass in as a prop, and we're just going to post the message. So we're just going to destructure all that data out. Um, you don't have to do that. You can just literally send data without the curly braces, but I always like to destructure because I think it looks pretty cool. And then um, set sent is just going to be um, a function for us to update the uh, state of the uh, top layer. So we're just going to do that. This is basically just going to have um, all of the messages that were sent, um, and we're just going to display that through um, a little like messaging uh, component that displays all the little like text blurbs or the little iMessage blurbs, you know what I mean? Okay, so now that we're all good with that and we reset our input um, so that it clears it after they send a message, we're just going to create the HTML for the form. 
So class name is going to be form. Um, I also forgot to mention that in this little uh, git uh, starter package that I created, um, we have some style in there so we don't have to do all the CSS because that always takes a really long time. Um, so we're only going to have to do a little bit together. Um, a lot of the other stuff is like really basic stuff that I put in. Um, so we don't have to do all of that. Okay, so we're just going to uh, set all of the methods to our input. Uh, nothing fancy here, just creating the input, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to do the select uh, tag just to kind of save some time. Uh, if you guys want to do that, you can obviously uh, do that. Or really just add whatever you want to the form. Um, this is kind of just the template for it. And after you you get one, it's, you know, it's just, I mean, just making a form. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do submit. Um, and then we're going to do export default form container. Okay, perfect. So that's going to be our form. That's all we need for that. And then um, the next thing that we're going to do is create our little chat container. Um, and so this is just going to be where we actually display all of the lists. Um, and then before that, we're actually going to create a component. Um, so folder for components. And this is going to be called message list. Um, and this is going to be uh, basically an iterator uh, functional component that just maps through the messages and then styles them and creates a list for us. Uh, so, so really uh, nothing crazy that's going to go on here. So let's do message list. It's going to receive some messages and a um, flag to tell us whether or not to show the date. Um, you usually shouldn't do this, like the little flag property. I don't know if I really agree with that. Um, but we're just going to do that. We're going to do that right here just to make it simple. So if there's no messages, let's just do a little um, warning to the user just saying, oh, you have no messages. Uh, sad. And then if there are messages, um, we're going to map through them. And then we're going to take the message, um, the index. And then we're just going to do a class name. This is going to be some uh, custom CSS right here. So if we're going to show the date, then we're going to do tracked. Um, if not, then we're going to do this nested ternary. Um, I usually don't like these either, but just kind of for the sake of time, we're just going to do this. Um, so if it's not that, um, let's see if it's sent. And if it's sent, then we'll um, set it to message sent for the class name. And if it's not that or anything else, then let's just do message receive. Okay, so then we're going to return our little kind of like message uh, div right here. We're going to set the key um, to m message, and then we're going to take the, um, uh, what is this called? The index of whatever we're looking at. Um, what did I do on here? Okay. Um, just so you know, you you actually should never use the index um, of the iteration of the loop um, as the key because it's always going to change. And um, when you create the key, you want it to be something that um, is obviously a unique identifier, but um, something that you're going to know ahead of time in case you ever need to get that element. Um, that's what it's there for if you ever need to make a reference to it. Um, but, you know, right here, just for the sake of time, like, I don't really care that much, so we're not going to do anything fancy. Um, okay, so we're going to do message timestamp for the class right here. So if we want to show the date, then we're just going to um, show the date in this little uh, P tag. So nothing crazy here. And then otherwise, um, let's also add the message. And that should be it. Okay, yeah, so really simple stuff, obviously, like uh, nothing too crazy going on right here. Oh, wow, that's way too zoomed out. What is this? Oh, it's the preview. Okay, so now let's go back to our chat container and let's create this. So do import react from react, import message list from dot 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 slash components message list okay let's get that and then let's just do our chat container so let's just take in the chats um, and this is just gonna be the messages and then we're just gonna sort them by the date so that they appear in the correct order because you can't always rely on JavaScript to uh, iterate over um, your error I think you can actually 
Actually, never mind. I'm not even going to misspeak there. I'm not sure. Um, I just know that I've gone gotten into trouble sometimes uh, where it doesn't iterate over the arrays as I expect it to. Um, so whatever, disregard that. <laughs> Probably say something wrong right there. Um, okay, so now that we have that, I think we are good to go. I think we can just um, add all of this together and you'll have a nice little chat app for you guys to use. So let's do um, import form container, uh, containers, form container, and then import chat container, form containers, chat container. Okay, perfect. So the first thing we're gonna do is just create our um, broadcast channel, just to kind of put it all together. So first step, uh, as you know, we're just going to create the uh, channel and then give it a name. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do uh, some state variables. So we're going to do received, set received equals use state. Um, and then we're going to do sent, set sent. So these are just to distinguish between the types of messages we get um, when we are, let's uh, import use effect and use state. Um, when we are on different tabs so they can color code them correctly. So use effect, um, yes, you guessed it. We are just going to create the event listener again. So we're just gonna do channel on message. We're going to destructure that data and we are going to do set receive. We're gonna take the previous state and then we're just going to concatenate that um, with our new message. So nothing too crazy, uh, but uh, it's going to make it look nice and nice and verbose for us right here. Um, and then we're just going to use the spread operator because we actually want to override the type here and set it to receive because as it's coming in, it's going to say sent. Um, but we obviously, if we're um, uh, receiving it from another tab that's not the sender tab, then we want to uh, get the right type out of it. Okay, so now we have that. We're gonna do form container, and then we're just going to set in, or send in our, uh, our props. So we're gonna do set sent. And then we are going to do channel equals channel. So these are the props that we defined earlier. And then we're going to do our chat container. And the chats are just going to be um, set and received just bundled together um, so really easy stuff right like uh, it's not going to be anything too crazy let's go back to our app and check it out see what we got okay no messages everything's looking ugly just how we want it let's do um, oh we got an error set input valve um, oh did I do this again I did this last time too so oh yep so it should be set input uh, sorry, I called it something uh, stupid in my like base project that I'm copying right now. Okay, so let's do message one. We're going to submit it. Okay, so it's right here displayed for us. And they received it. Um, replied back to you. And you can see that there's obviously uh, some ugly style. Uh, whatever, we're going to fix that in a second. Okay, and we got the reply. So perfect. Our um, channel is working exactly as we expected it to. So let's go and pop over um, to our style directory, and we're just gonna finish out um, styling this so you have a nice little pretty app to look at. Hey guys, so just kidding. I just finished the rest of the video with the style and the rest of the code, um, and it made it about like 30, 35 minutes long. So I'm just gonna cut that out and actually end it here. Um, if you wanna look at any of the style code or um, the rest of the repository, um, I'll put a link to that um, to my GitHub, to the finished product, if you, if you care. Um, if not, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And uh, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if uh, you, you like what you're seeing. If not, um, just let me know and tell me I suck, and I'll try to build something better next time or come up with better ideas. Uh, all right, thanks. Bye.